Hi everybody, I'm Kirk Montgomery. Welcome to a new segment we call the E-Block, your source for all things entertainment. And we begin this afternoon with an update on reality star and entertainment mogul Simon Cowell. He says he's lucky he wasn't paralyzed after that horrific bike crash at his home in Southern California. He is speaking out after undergoing a six hour surgery where metal rods were inserted into his spinal cord. He was testing out an electronic bike when he fell off and broke his back. He will miss the first live shows of America's Got Talent scheduled for this week and next. He offered up some advice on Twitter, saying if you buy an electronic trail bike, read the manual before you ride it for the very first time. Celebrity chef and talk show host Rachel Ray escaped a fire in her upstate New York home unscathed early this morning. Ray, her husband, and their dog were home at the house in Lake Lucerne when the fire broke out. Ray had been filming her daytime talk show, The Rachel Ray Show, from her home since the pandemic shut down studios. On Monday, she tweeted, thank you to our local first responders for being kind and gracious and saving what they could of our home. These are the days we have, have to be grateful for what we have, not what we've lost. Well, you know, much like that long road to Ross and Rachel finally ending up together, Jennifer Aniston promised the HBO Max Friends reunion will be worth the wait. The Emmy winner saying, it's going to be super of the upcoming unscripted special, which the COVID-19 pandemic just delayed a second time. She added, this has also given us more time to make it even more exciting and more fun than it would have been. So I choose to see it as the glass is half full that it's gotten postponed. Well, on Friday, HBO Max again delayed the Friends reunion special, which was originally scheduled to film in March after previously pushing production to May. Well, a new shoot date has not yet to be rescheduled. And though Aniston called the latest postponement very sad, the actor said that she understands the reason it was. How do we do this with a live audience? This is just not a safe time, period. That's the bottom line. It's not a safe time to do it. Hey, if you're looking to expand your mind and dig deeper into a good book, check out a free online book discussion. It's tonight at 6 o'clock at the Hackley Public Library in Muskegon. Tonight, the focus is on the novel The Bear by Andrew Kruvak. It tells the story of a girl and her father who are the last of humankind finding harmony with nature. The online book discussion, again, it's free. For more information, is on their website. You know, at the start of the pandemic, many of us binge watched Tiger King on Netflix. Well, now there is a new development in one storyline featured in the show. The family of Don Lewis is now offering up a $100,000 reward for information on his disappearance. Lewis, of course, was reported missing in 1997 by his wife, Big Cat Rescue founder, Carol Baskin. Baskin has been a popular target as a person of interest. Since the show was released, there have been renewed calls from police for tips in Lewis's case. All right, finally, Val, let me be the first to wish you a happy National S'mores Day. Mm, yum. S'mores consists of a roasted marshmallow with a layer of chocolate bars sandwiched between pieces of graham cracker. Yummy, yummy. Mm. And Val, if you find that you have eaten a few too many s'mores today, just also happens to be National <laughs> Shapewear Day. It's what makes it all okay, right? Binging not, on some s'mores. I'm not making this up. <laughs> so let me adjust my man spanks. And I'll send it back to you. Oh, thanks, Kirk.